Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I wanted to address a common question I get when I teach searching skills. And that is the question, should I use the field tag TW or the field tag TIAB in PubMed? And of course that translates over into other databases as well. Should you be using title and abstract or should you be using a broader search field? And my answer is, you're the search expert, it's up to you, but you should know the difference. So let's take a look. We'll go to PubMed. We're here on PubMed. I'm going to scroll down, under Learn, go to the FAQs and User Guide. And under the FAQs, I'll scroll down under Search PubMed to Using Search Field Tags. You can read about using field tags. They turn off automatic term mapping. They search specific fields in the record, and then for each available field tag, you can read about the details of that field tag. TW, text words, and TIAB are over here on the right, so let's read about them both. Text words includes all words and numbers in the title, abstract, other abstract, mesh terms, mesh subheadings, publication types, substance names, personal name is subject, corporate author, secondary source, comment or correction notes, and other terms, which are typically non-mesh subject terms. And then title abstract is here, right below it. Title abstract searches words and numbers included in the citations title, collection title, abstract, other abstract, and author keywords, also the other term field. English language abstracts are taken directly from the published article. If an article does not have a published abstract, an LM does not create one. And why is it telling you this? Because they want to reiterate that you're searching the title and the abstract, and if there isn't an abstract, then nothing is being searched. So title abstract could be fairly restrictive if, as it happens in some cases, there actually is no abstract. So keep that in mind. I prefer to use text words unless the search is just really large and out of control. Let's take a look at how this works. I'm back on the PubMed homepage and I'm just going to type cystic fibrosis in quotes because it's a phrase and we will do TW first, that is text words. We get 59,590 results. And if we look at one, we'll see that cystic fibrosis is here in the abstract, it's in the title, um, and there are no mesh terms. So let's now try cystic fibrosis TIAB. Title abstract, 52,823 results, and that's because the fields that it is searching is more restrictive. And if we look at one, we will see it's in the title and it's in the abstract and there are mesh terms, but let's not get complicated. So now let's go into advanced. I'm not trying to confuse you. If we did the larger search, add query, against the smaller search, add with not, we can see what's not being returned if you chose to search with title abstract TIAB instead of TW. Let's click search. 67, 67, and we'll just go into this first one. And cystic fibrosis is not in the title. It's not in the abstract. And if we scroll down, there are mesh terms. Here it is, right here in the medical subject heading section, cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator. So that's why this article got caught. It's here again under substances. Regulator. Now is this case going to be the same for every record here? No, not necessarily. But there could be other circumstances under which these articles would appear here. So the key takeaway is you should know the difference, what this is doing, and then you get to decide. Do you want to search with TW text words or TIAB? It's up to you. There's no right answer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.